Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at how to use web config transformations to manage different configuration settings for different environments. So let's go ahead and load up Visual Studio. I'm using Visual Studio 2019, although the process should be similar across lots of different versions of Visual Studio. It's been the same for as long as I can remember. Let's go ahead and create a new project. Let's go for an ASP.NET web application. Let's click next. Always choose the latest and greatest version of .NET unless uh, you've got a good reason to choose something else. Okay, let's click create. For the purpose of this demo, it really doesn't make an awful lot of difference what type of web application we create. So let's go old school and continue with web forms. Click create really isn't going to make any difference whatsoever okay so most people will have like for example a development version of an application a test version perhaps and a live version uh, in your company for example you might even have a UAT version you might have a pre-production version etc etc you might even have uh, load balanced servers in which case you need to deploy to different servers or across different companies so let's have a look at a really simple example of how you could manage web configuration settings so let's go ahead and look at our web config file that's probably a good place to start um, well actually this is the web config file let me close that for now okay so let's go to our web config file um, all of this stuff that's currently there is default settings so we won't worry too much about those but what we are going to do is we're going to add one application setting one of these and we're also going to go ahead and add a connection string because I think that that's probably what most people will be using a connection string for example to a database and you're probably going to have a whole ton a heap of different application settings just to make my life nice and easy, I have some that I created earlier here. So let me paste those in. Nothing fancy, we've got an application setting and we've got a connection string. So the connection string is called database and it points to localhost and the database is called my database. Okay, so localhost being the box that you're currently on, which presumably would be your development machine and environment just to make it really clear what we're changing the value from and to depending on the environment we are going to publish to this will all become nice and clear shortly so obviously we're on our development box so we're going to be debugging developing and coding and so the environment currently is set to development so nice and simple so let's go ahead and publish this application I'm just going to publish it locally to a file system. So let's have a look at how we can do that. Publish. Obviously, you know, you've got lots of different options here. You can publish to IIS or your, some other, you've got all kinds of FTP, loads of different options. But for now, it really doesn't make much difference for the purpose of this example. So let's just publish it to a local folder. So let's click next. It's going to go ahead and throw these files in the bin folder. Okay, so this is where all of your files get built and put and it's going to be in a subfolder called app.publish which seems entirely reasonable to me so click finish and then we're going to want to click publish but before, before we do I just want to go ahead and change delete existing files because this will potentially save you a bit of a headache because if for example you've published some files and then you've deleted those files those files will still exist in the destination so I, as a rule of thumb, always like to delete all existing files prior to publishing new files. It keeps things nice and clean. So let's click save there. And all that's left for us to do is click publish. So Visual Studio will go ahead and publish it. If we hold down control and click on this little link at the bottom here that says web app was published successfully, click control and left click on the mouse it'll open Explorer and as you can see we've got our files here they'll closely mimic what we can see here in our solution Explorer let's right click the web.config file and let's open it with notepad++ side note if you're looking for a text editor 
then Notepad++ is absolutely brilliant. So um, let's have a look at what we got. So as we expected, I think, I'm sure we all expected this, we've got environment, development, and we've got database, localhost. Sounds fairly straightforward so far. Uh, let's flip back to the code. So let's say, for example, though, that we wanted a different setting. So of course, if we were deploying, let's say to, let's say test, then of course we want the value to be test. And likewise, we might have a different server for test. It's not likely going to be localhost, it will be something else. So let's have a look at how we might go ahead and make those transformations. Rather than, for example, copying the whole config, storing it in a folder and changing the whole thing, because you're gonna have a lot of duplication there, for example. Certainly if a lot of this stuff changes, then you have to replace it in multiple places, which, which isn't really a great way to code. The idea is, is that you change something once, and then the rest works. So let's have a look. So if we look under here, we've got different transformation configs. We're not gonna to worry too much about debug because what we can assume is we can assume that the configuration file before we make any transformations, we're gonna assume that that's our development configuration file. We're gonna assume that's what we're gonna be developing and coding and debugging with. So we don't need to worry about that too much. But what we've got here, we've got I'll tell you what we do, we'll do release first, since it's there, that makes sense, right? So let's go into release. Now, if this file is new to you, you're gonna probably wanna go ahead and read all of these comments. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm gonna go ahead and delete them, just to make them nice and clean. But you can you can see here that they've given you an example, yeah, of a transformation. Um, so you could go ahead and have a look at that. That's a, that's a pretty good example, actually. but I've got my own example, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete that. So this is what the, oh, as you can see, actually, there's already a transformation here. And what it's doing is it's removing the attribute debug. Okay. We won't dwell on that too much because I want to show you an example of how to change an application setting and a connection string. So let's flip back to perhaps one I prepared earlier. And we're obviously doing live. So let's copy these two. Here we go. So what we're doing here, we've got the application setting for environment and we've got the connection string for database. And what we're doing is we're saying locate the existing value by matching the key and the key is environment. And what transformation do we want to take place? Well, in this instance, we want to set the attribute. So what we're basically saying is find this and replace it with this pretty much exactly the same thing for the connection string. Again, we're gonna match on name, the name being database, and we're gonna set the attributes, and we're essentially gonna replace the connection string with this. So in this instance, we've got a nice domain, which is www.saturdaynightcoder.com, and the database is still called my database. In fact, let's change, change it slightly so that the cases match not that it would make a difference but if you're anything like me these things do matter <laughs> so let's go ahead and tidy this file up a little bit okay I'm fairly happy with that what do you reckon I'm sure you guys are happy with that right so what do we want to do now we want to go ahead and publish this so we've already got one out of the box here which is for release so we're gonna assume that release is is our live environment okay so how do we publish this and actually have these values change well it's fairly straightforward same process right click publish uh, and in this instance actually what you'll notice is that by default it already uses look, the configuration here for release the reason we didn't change the values previously was because we didn't have any transformations to change. So if we just go ahead and do exactly the same thing, click publish, control and click on this link, or we've already got it opened in Notepad++. So if we flip back to the web config in Notepad++, Notepad++ is going to ask us if we want to reload the file because it's changed, which is good. We expected it to change. Let's click yes. And as you can see, how cool is that? The environment has changed to live and the database has changed to our nice live domain name 
so everything works as we expect and just to prove that you can change the configuration let's go ahead and change that back to debug well, I say back it was always released but we got the debug config file initially because we hadn't got any transformations so let's go ahead and publish this let's flip back to notepad plus plus let's reload the file and as you can see we've got development and localhost let me show you how to add one so earlier on we were speaking about potentially having say a test environment so let's go ahead and work out how to do that because you might be thinking well we've got a release which we can use for live we've got the config itself which obviously we're going to we're going to use for debug development coding so what do we do about test because you're going to have multiple environments very likely i i find would find it unusual if you just had basically development and and live you're probably going to have tests so let's have a look so the way you would do that is click on this link here and click on configuration manager and in here we're going to click on this drop down and we're going to click on new and so this is where we're going to give it a name so we'll keep it simple we'll call it test and we can copy the settings and where do we want to copy the settings from let's go with release i guess for now click ok and close let's see what we've been given oh yeah one more step one more step right click the config and then click on where is it add config transform okay click on that and then we get our test pretty cool right let's have a look at what we're playing with okay very similar to what we started off with for release i'm going to be cheeky and i'm just going to copy this i'm going to paste it straight into test because um, it's going to be pretty much the same anyway but instead of changing the environment value to live as you can probably guess i'm going to change it to test and for the connection string i'm going to add let's just keep it simple let's add test on the end in fact let's add dash test and that is literally all we need to do so save that file control s right click publish now at this point it's probably going to become a little bit messy if we keep on going ahead and changing the config the configuration here it's not the end of the world it's not that big of a deal but there's a slightly nicer way to do it so since this is debug let's just change it to release click save and what we're going to do is we're going to click rename and here we're going to rename this uh, this 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 template I suppose you would call it this publish template um, or profile sorry it's called a profile let's let's rename this one to well live I suppose and click save and then what we're going to do is we're going to click new folder same thing next finish and we're going to rename it to as you can probably guess test and we're going to change obviously release so that we are going to publish it to test with the test transformations click save and delete existing files as I mentioned earlier I certainly like to it's down to you if you want to have a play with the settings and see what works for you okay so let's have a look at what we've got we've got live which selects the release configuration so this one okay and let me go back to it and we've also got test which as you can see here will select the test configuration so let's just check that it's all working let's go with test click publish nice and simple let's flip back to notepad plus plus it's asking us if we want to refresh and we do and as you can see environment test saturday night coder dash test superb let's go back let's click on live again publish flip back to notepad plus plus it's asking if we want to reload it and we do and we've got the environment live and the domain is the live domain without dash test so i hope you guys have found that useful um, i find it useful i use this with every project where i'm going to be managing different environments so if you have any questions throw them in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video why not go ahead and like it and if you want to see similar content to this in the future if you're learning to program 
then uh, maybe consider subscribing. And until next time, take care, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one.